Hey guys, Jimmy Vegas here, and in this video I'm going to show you how the Unity short I made, the ridiculous one with the silly dancing, was actually made. Now, a lot of people seem to think that there was a lot of work that went into that, but in reality, there wasn't a lot of work done at all. So the entire background is an asset from the asset store called Sun Temple. And it is a very, very nice asset. I, I cannot lie, it's so well designed. Uh, it is modified slightly to give it a bit of a different look and feel. Uh, anyone that's used the Sun Temple asset can probably see already that there is some uh, variance in how it comes originally and how it looks now. So it is slightly modified. Each of the nine characters, this is the first one that we see, is taken from Mixamo, all with an animation attached, which is that silly dance routine. Now, the audio itself, uh, the kind of clapping at the beginning, is something I created myself in FL Studio. Uh, the ambient sound is a free open source, uh, just like ambient sound, like with a little bit of wind, bit of uh, insects, birds tweeting, whatever. And the music itself actually comes from Kevin McLeod, and he is credited in the original video description. So if you want that same song, you can head there and you can get it yourself. So the whole premise is it fades in. In fact, I'll just quickly press play now so we can get a quick uh, glimpse of it. It fades in to just this one character being the sole uh, person on screen. And then gradually each of the other eight come in one by one on that clap sound. And obviously there is some post-processing added here as well. And we can see one by one, they all come in and then they start dancing. So, how is this done exactly? Well, I like to think that the uh, I managed to get the animation and the timing of that song to kind of sync up really, really easily. It's almost as though they were built for each other in a weird kind of way. So I spent a bit of time working on uh, the music, which one would fit in well with what they were doing, because I want it to be a little bit weird. Uh, obviously, it is uh, ridiculous. So... I uh, went through a few different songs and I came to this one at the very end. Now, the whole sequence is played out via a C-sharp script. And if I go to the script, you can see just how easy it is. All I've done is just declare each character in an array, uh, the tap sound, the music, the camera, and the fade out. So obviously the fade in turns itself off anyway, it only plays once. Then we start the co-routine, which is the sequence. And then gradually, one by one, they all come in. And then we set the animator on. So they start dancing in sync at that same point, at which point the music starts exactly on key. So obviously it carries on. Then the camera starts doing its animation, which I will get to in just a second. Uh, but then after 80 seconds or so, the animator stops in the perfect pose where they do that weird pose at the end. So that was timed to end perfectly along with the music. And then obviously it waits for a couple of seconds for the camera animation to finish and then it fades out and that's the end. So the camera animation. A lot of people seem to think that the camera animation was done, well, it was done not through animation, but it really was. It took me literally about a minute to do a quick camera animation. And I seem to not, you know, I'm not trying to toot my own horn or anything, but I seem to have a, quite a knack of just being able to manipulate a camera in a nice kind of way. Um, I, I don't know how I do it really. It's just, I just created a quick animation to see what would happen with the camera panning around. And then I tweaked it a little bit. And then obviously we end up with the camera animation that we see in the video. And honestly, that really is all it is, is just a quick animation right there. So if I was to press play now, you'd be able to see exactly what the camera is doing. I'm going to turn off the canvas so we can see it in um, the game view. So if I just disable it there, if it doesn't, doesn't really want to, because I've not pressed play, have I? But I think that's irrelevant. So if I just go to the camera and just press play on the animation, we can see that all that is, is just animation keyframes moving between. That's all that animation ever was. It wasn't anything special. It wasn't anything secret. It was just a quick animation that I threw together and then tweaked gradually. So it didn't take me too long to make the whole thing because like I say, the scene itself was already built. I just modified it a bit. Characters are from Mixamo with their animation attached. And it really was just a case of choreographing it all together with the correct music, the correct routine, 
and then adding in the sequence script. And that's all it was. So the idea of me creating this uh, is just for the hope that you can see how easy it is to create short movies, short games, or anything in Unity, just given just a couple of hours even. And that is why I make these short little clips or films or videos or whatever you want to call them. I think the post-processing really added to it because without post-processing it looks a little bland, but obviously the post-processing gives it that vibrant look, uh, which I quite like. So guys, that was how that weird, ridiculous dance routine uh, was made. And don't forget, click subscribe, click the bell icon as well, and you can stay up to date with everything about video game development on my channel. Guys, thank you very much for watching.